good morning audacious church hope you are well today wherever you might be manchester chester sheffield cardiff wherever you might be in the world it's so good to have you join us today my name is miriam i am the audacious church cardiff campus pastor alongside my husband Johnny and we will be moving down to Cardiff really soon which is super exciting we can't wait to get down there so if you do live around the South Wales area then please get in touch but for today I'm gonna share a short devotion with you around John 4 and it's all about Jesus and the Samaritan woman you may know the story but he refined Jesus he'd been on a journey and he was in need of a rest so he sat down at a well and this was at noon. So if you've ever been to a hot country, you will know that noon is the hottest time of the day. It's where you do not want to be outside. You've probably experienced that in the UK over the last few weeks. It's been pretty hot. But here we find Jesus sat down, almost seemingly like he's waiting for someone. I, I'd like to think he's waiting there for someone who maybe doesn't even know they need him. Because in John 4, 4 to 8, it explains and says, now he, Jesus, had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said, will you give me a drink? See, the Samaritan woman had come to the well for a drink. She'd come to fill up her jar with water, with what she thought she needed for life. Yet she met Jesus, who began to talk to her about living water and the very thing that would give her true life. Because you see, this woman, she'd been searching and searching in all the wrong places for true life, for value, for worth, for recognition. And she hadn't found it. But here in this moment, Jesus gives her value. He gives her worth and he gives her life. And in John 28, it goes on to say, then leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? The Samaritan woman came with her jar, water jar to fill up with water. Yet on learning about Jesus, it says that she left, leaving her water jar. She went back. And I wonder how often sometimes we come to Jesus, come with our water jar, expecting him to fill it with career, relationships, with finance and all these things. But actually what he wants to do is fill it with his living water and we have to leave behind what it is that we think we need filling so that we can truly receive everything that he's got for us and I want to encourage you today if you are approaching Jesus saying will you fill me with all of this stuff would you leave it behind today would you let him fill you with all that he is so that you will experience true life in the fullest in the greatest way possible when you live your life for Jesus. Maybe it's relationship, maybe it's money, maybe you're on the hamster wheel of life feeling like you're going nowhere. Let Jesus into your life today, let him fill you with eternal life with the Holy Spirit. I believe today is going to be an incredible day for you and I'd love to pray. So God we thank you for who you are. You are amazing, you are true life God and we just look to you today in this moment and thank you that you are living water and I ask you God to fill me to fill everyone who's listening God with living water will you fill us afresh would you fill us to overflow Holy Spirit will you come right now and fill us afresh God we look to you in the name of Jesus amen amen well have a great day Whatever you're doing, hopefully we'll see you around um, this weekend. But yeah, have a great day and we'll see you soon.